Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of The Daily here with Greg Lawless. I'm Nick Fershaw. It's Tuesday, February 1st, and Greg, we've been talking about the preseason for a long time. Time to fast forward a little bit to the All-Star Game. We got the big announcement today, July 27th, Red Bull Arena. Yep, the All-Star Game is returning to the Big Apple for the first time in 14 years. Thinking about all the excitement from last year with the opening of Red Bull Arena, and then of course the Red Bulls having a fantastic season, you have to imagine it's just going to roll through into 2011 and it's going to culminate with this incredible event at Red Bull Arena in July. And you know what? This is, I think, one of those times when all of the soccer world is going to be looking mm. at Red Bull Arena and New York. This is exactly what we're hoping for in terms of building that buzz, if you will, around MLS and the Red Bulls and New York. And MLS trotting out some very big names for this announcement. 3.30 Eastern, you can catch it on MLSsoccer.com. It's Thierry Henry, Landon Donovan, and Commissioner Don Garber. And, and moving on to the preseason, there's some big news for the Vancouver Whitecaps. We're finally going to get our first look at this team. The Whitecaps and Real Salt Lake going to go out in a preseason game in Arizona. Well, you think about all the excitement surrounding the Whitecaps, and how's this for a first test. You go up against the mighty Real Salt Lake. You know, the, the excitement is, is building in Vancouver as we've see, seen it coming along. Still not sure what this team's going to look mm -hmm. like, especially up in the attack, but this will be their first chance to get an idea of how they're going to play a little bit. Another team also taking the field today, Chivas USA, one of Vancouver's uh, Western Conference rivals, and they're going to be taking on the lower division team Fresno Fuego, which I know is one of your yeah, big, definitely. Yeah, definitely. you're a big fan of there. Yeah, right? I played there briefly yes. in the <laughs> 80s. And moving on to Chicago, there's big news there. They've cut ties with Andrew Dykstra, mm -hmm. and they're potentially moving Darius Umanzor out. Uh, there's also news out down on FC Dallas where former Chivas USA man Michael Galindo working out with uh, the hoops. Well, you remember Michael Galindo from a couple of years ago. He was fast. He was dangerous. He was always a threat on the field. Scored 18 goals for Chivas USA over three seasons. And then injuries really started to hurt him and he wasn't able to recover from that. Now he's, he's appeared again and he's, up, he's in uh, preseason training with FC Dallas. And, and one guy who did not appear in preseason training, the New England Revolution opened their camp on Monday. Mm -hmm. Captain Shalry Joseph not in attendance. Yeah, really interesting to see that. Steve Nickel, the head coach, saying we haven't heard from him, but we hope nothing's wrong. Uh, so they're expecting him to show up today for training and, and see what happens with that. We'll keep an eye on that. There's also news in Europe. We saw a flurry of activity involving American exports. On Monday, there's more news. Josie Altidore on his way to Bursaspor, one of the top teams in Turkey. Yeah, the reigning champions from the Turkish League last year. They were in Champions League a little bit earlier on. It's a club that has great aspirations. We heard news about Josie maybe going there last summer. He said he wanted to stay at Villarreal and keep fighting. You know what? He kept fighting. He didn't really win the battle. So he's going to go to Turkey and try and get some playing time over there. I think this is a good move for him. The Turkish League is a, is a league that's based on skill, but also a lot of physicality. I think he can succeed there. Another player who I think is making a, a decent move, Eddie Johnson, leaving Fulham and going to Preston North End. Now, they're at the bottom of the table in the championship. However, he told Preston North End's website that he thinks that they're, that's not where they belong. They have more talent than that. And we'll see. He has half a season if he can help them get out of there. Yeah, definitely. A change of location for Eddie yeah. Johnson and a, and a big project ahead. You can catch more commentary about all the transfers on our issue of uh, extra Time Radio from Monday. We talked Michael Bradley and Freddie Adu and all sorts of things, as well as Siggy Schmidt, the Seattle Sounders head coach, joined us. We talked about some big expectations in 2011. You can find that on Buzzsprout, iTunes, and MLSsoccer.com.